This map shows all the different states across the country this lab is currently surveying. 36 in all, plus Mexico and Canada. The only problem, they wish they could do more. It's an experiment no one in this lab has ever seen before. Non-stop COVID testing running 24-7 as an out-of-control pandemic surges all around them. It's tough work. Um, it's a lot of pressure. Bree Spencer manages the molecular side of Bellingham's Northwest Laboratory. This team of 400 technicians processes 500 tests an hour with a 24 hour turnaround time. A drive through site administers a test every two minutes, 250 a day. The hours are long, the work draining. There's not really a light at the end of the tunnel. So it's hard to leave at the end of your shift and seeing as much as there is to still do. You feel like a hamster on a wheel sometimes? We do, we do. Northwest Laboratory has quadrupled its workforce since the start of the pandemic to fill this 4,000 square foot space that used to be an empty storeroom with no slowdown in sight. It's a battle every day. Chief Operating Officer Jennifer Bulls says they have capacity to process twice what they're currently doing, but burnout is a concern and they can't afford to lose anybody right now. How to keep workers motivated? The taco truck only goes so far. Bull says they need about 100 more workers to be able to give everybody a bit of a break. For now, knowing they're making a major difference across this country will sustain them. We hear stories pretty much every day. Somebody was able to go adopt a child um, and needed a test to go do that. Um, moms got to hold their babies and instead of being separated at birth. It feels incredible to be a part of something that feels a little out of control. So to be able to jump in and know what to do every day and be a part of it is phenomenal. The folks here say they look forward to the day when COVID is in the rearview mirror and they can return to being a nine to five lab. Until then, their tireless work here continues. In Bellingham, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.